Good morning, it's Janine. I don't know what the hell, oh, it's October 21st, Sunday. Um, and remember my moodiness? Well, I'm feeling in a good mood today. I um, woke up and the sun was shining and it's typical October weather. I think it's like 55 degrees outside and a little breezy. It's beautiful out. So, I wanted to try to start a tag. Um, I watch a couple other people on YouTube that have nothing to do with weight loss. And uh, they started doing a tag. And it looked really fun to me. So I thought about doing it for a while and now I'm going to do it. And it is, just like the title says, 25 things you may not know about me. Um, this took a long time for me to come up with 25 things. So I feel like I tell you guys absolutely everything. Um, but I managed to come up with 25 things. And I would love it if you did your own video and either leave it as a video response or just post it. I mean, I, I subscribe to so many of you guys, I'm sure I'm going to see it. So, um, you know, you tell me. Uh, your 25 things I may not know about you. I think it would be really cool for us to just learn about each other. So, number one. My favorite holiday slash month is Thanksgiving, November. I like October, but I am not really a Halloween girl. Like, so many people get so excited about Halloween, and they're like, oh, this is so cool, and, you know, and I'm like, meh, I could take it or leave it. Thanksgiving, I adore. I adore the anticipation of Thanksgiving. I love waking up at 5 o'clock in the morning and stuffing the turkey into the oven, and, and I love prepping all day for one meal and just having this, you know, amazing family thing go on and I love how the leaves change. I live in New York and, and the ne the leaves change so beautifully in November. It's just gorgeous. The weather's gorgeous. I just love November. I love it. Um, so it's definitely my favorite holiday in any holiday that is created. Number two, I hate, hate my ears touched or licked. It's disgusting disgusting to me. I fucking hate it. My last boyfriend used to do it and I fucking hated it. I hated it. Ugh! It creeps me out. It's so nasty to me. Number three. <sighs> my love for Andy Pettit. Andy Pettit is my boyfriend. Um, I know he has a wife and children in Texas, but he's contemplating leaving them and coming to New York to live with me. I'm sure of it. My favorite artist of all time is Miles Davis. Uh, I listen to a lot of music. I grew up, um, you know, playing instruments, and I learned to appreciate real music. Not that synthesizer -y shit that you put together, but with some tech genius in a back room. Real music. And I listen to everything as long as it's real. Um, I even like a little bit of country, believe it or not. And, uh, but jazz, real jazz. And Miles Davis is my man. I actually have a, I don't know if you can see it. No, I don't think you can see it in this picture. But you guys sometimes see a white canvas with a with a black and white picture in it above my bed, that's actually Miles Davis. Um, and uh, I love him. Uh, he's, he's amazing to me. The second I come home every single day, I come upstairs and I get in my jammies. I refuse to walk around my house in my work clothes. You know, in my, in my dressy pants and my blouse, I refuse. I will do nothing in my work clothes. I won't put dishes away. I won't even go to the bathroom wearing my work clothes. I could have to pee like a maniac when I walk in my house at the end of a day. But I refuse to walk to the bathroom in my work clothes and go to the bathroom. I will hold it, go to my bedroom, change my clothes, and then go to the bathroom. I hate walking around in my work clothes. I just won't do it. Um, it's kind of weird, but it's true. All right, number six. My favorite, I'm not a very religious person. Um, I've never been. 
because I never understood religion. Uh, growing up, we weren't raised with, you know, a lot of religion going on. Um, but my favorite prayer in the whole universe is the serenity prayer. It just makes so much sense to me. And if you haven't heard of the serenity prayer, um, Google it. It's just a beautiful, it's a super duper short prayer. And it just makes perfect sense to me. And I actually repeat it in my head uh, quite a few times. And um, I just love it. It's just, it's just a beautiful prayer. It's absolutely beautiful. Um, number seven. I never used nail polish until I was about 20 years old. Um, I hated the feeling of nail polish on my nails. I could feel it. I could feel that like film, that additional weight on my nails when I was little and I couldn't stand the feeling of it. I hated it and I refused to wear nail polish but when I was like 20 I gave in and I just started wearing it and ever since I've been fine. I don't know. It's weird. Number eight. And I'm probably going to get a lot of hate mail for this, but I hate football. I hate it. American football. I hate it. To me, it is run 10 yards, fall down. 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 Give the ball over to the other team. Do it again. What the hell is the point of that? It is so pointless to me. What the hell is the craze for football? I don't get it. And I have forced myself to try to watch football. I dated a guy that was a football fanatic. And I used to force myself to watch these fucking games with him. And I'd even ask questions to try to understand the game, you know, not just stare at it mindlessly. And no matter how much he explained it to me, I still sat there in the back of my head. What's the point of that? What's the point of that? I, ugh, ugh, I don't get it. Alright, number nine. Some of you guys might know this, but I'm a total math nerd. Um, flat out, I'm a math nerd. I love math. Math makes sense to me. Um, it's true logistics to me. Uh, there is no... There is no maybe about math. There's never a maybe about math. There's nothing to contemplate about math. It's yes or no. Is the answer to or not? You know, that's, that's why I love it. It's so definitive. And uh, I like having that. Anything definitive is wonderful to me. I need wind or air movement of some sort. Over here, I have an enormous... I'd even go so far as to say industrial fan on my bedroom floor. I need air movement. I hate stagnant air. When I'm in a place, a room, an elevator, whatever it may be, and there is stagnant air, I start to get anxious and I get very uncomfortable. So like I need some sort of air movement like at all times. It's just a weird thing to me. Number 11, and this might explain some things to you guys about how I am when I make videos in the car. When I was five years old, well, let me back it up a little bit. My dad has been a race car driver since he was 19 years old. Um, he started out doing quarter mile racing and then he went into circuit track racing. Um, circuit tracks are not oval tracks. Circle tracks are like um, like funky shaped tracks with like pinwheel turns and uh, carousels and different sorts of, of turns and twists and they have straightways and it's just it's a very very intense and intricate track. My dad has been doing that since he was about 19 years old. When I was five years old and this was in 1984 so Times were way different and different regulations and that kind of thing. Um, so this was allowed back then. My daddy put me in the car with him at Bridgehampton Raceway, which was located on Long Island, and borrowed a helmet from one of his friends, threw a helmet on me, strapped it on my head, strapped me into the car, and took me racing with him. And he used to do that with me all the 
time. He did it with me at Bridgehampton, at Lime Rock Raceway, Watkins Glen, the Poconos. He did it all the time. He used to drag me racing with him all the time. And it was my favorite thing in the universe. I used to scream at him, faster daddy, faster, and it just, every time he brings it up, he just has this gigantic grin on his face because it was so much fun for us when I was little. And I just grew up learning what correct driving was and the power of cars can be, and this explains why I need to have an 8-cylinder Mustang GT. I need to have a modified 8-cylinder Mustang GT, and why I can't stand stupid drivers. I just grew up with this, you know, so racing, fast cars, correct driving, it's been drilled into my head, and that's why I am the way I am behind the wheel. Um... Number 12, I hate fake people. And let me elaborate. I hate people that act one way in front of public and another way in front of their family or in private. I hate people that act like, you know, sweet little cupids in front of a group of people, but at home, in front of their family, they are just, you know, horrible people. That drives me up a wall because in my opinion that's pure lying you're lying you are not the person you show yourself to be you proclaim yourself to be you are not a sweetheart you're an asshole and that drives me absolutely crazy I just don't have tolerance for that kind of thing at all um, it's just like a pet peeve of mine um, number 13 this is really strange and a lot of girls are gonna be like Janine what's wrong with you but I hate shoes. I hate them. Can't stand them. This is what I live in. This is a flip-flop. This is a padded Nike flip-flop. I think it's Nike. No, it's Adidas. If I could live in flip-flops 24-7-365, I would. I hate shoes. Just can't stand them. I don't like going shoe shopping, I'm not like addicted to shoes like a lot of girls are, and I just don't see what's so cool about shoes, never did. I am obsessed with lists, with checklists. I like making lists of things that I have to do, things I have to buy, places I have to go, dream lists, goal lists, I'm obsessed with lists. And I do it constantly. Um, any freaking chance I get, I make a list. It's just how I organize my life. Uh, number 15. You guys might find this a little gross, but I do it because I think it's gross to not do it. When my dog Bruno goes poopies, before I let him in the house, I wipe his butt. And I'll get a tissue or a paper towel or something like that and wipe his butt clean and then let him in the house and if he takes a messy poop um, I have those baby wipes um, you know the, the grown up baby wipes like the Cottonelle or something like that um, I'll wipe his butt with those and then I'll dry his butt with a paper towel and then let him in the house I'm just weird like that uh, I'm obsessed with architecture I guess it has to do with my math nerdiness um, and just all the angles and how intricate architecture can be. I love architecture. I love looking at really old churches, old bridges, like Venetian bridges. Oh my god, Venetian bridges. They're so beautiful to me. Anything that has to do with intricate architecture and strange architecture, like unusual things, out of the box thinking with architecture, I adore it. 17. If I could go any place in the whole universe, one place, I would want to go to Angkor Wat, Cambodia. And one of the reasons for that is due to the architecture. If you've ever had a chance to Google Angkor Wat, Cambodia, it is so beautiful, it's ridiculous. Oh, the stonework that was done in Cambodia is just crazy. It's so beautiful. It's just, I, I don't, there's, there's not enough I can say except, oh, it's gorgeous. 
Um, you know, I mentioned earlier that I'm not a very, I'm not an extremely religious person. But, number 18, two religions that interest me like crazy is actually Hinduism and Buddhism. Um, they're just so interesting to me. I've learned bits and pieces about the both of them, and every bit and piece that I've learned about them has been like, well, you know, it's been unlike any other religion that we are familiar with in the western section of America and you know the western world doesn't look at Hinduism and Buddhism as common so those two religions are really interesting to me and I'd like to learn more about them if I ever got a chance to uh, number 19 I used to be amazing at playing the violin uh, I started playing the violin when I was seven or eight years old, I don't remember, and um, I used to go to county championships, state championships, regional championships, and I actually went to a uh, country championship. Uh, I never, I used to come in first uh, very often in county. I came in first a few times in state, came in first once in regional. And I uh, never came in first in, in country, but um, I used to be really good when I was younger. And uh, it was just my thing, you know. Number 20, politics. This is kind of funny because we're going through a new election. I am oblivious to politics. I don't understand it. I don't understand what points are most important. I don't understand much about uh, the U.S. economy and how it works, how it runs, what would be best for us. Um, I don't have an opinion, period, on politics. I really don't. I just don't pay attention. Um, and because of that, no, I don't vote. Because it would be like, ooh, let's go for this guy. I don't know anything. Um, and my opinion, if I voted, would mean nothing. Uh, I, maybe I'd vote wrong and probably do some some damage. So, So I don't vote. <laughs> Um, and it has nothing to do with, you know, abusing my rights as, as a American. I just don't pay attention to it. I don't get a chance to read the paper. I just don't get a chance. And uh, so, I'm, you know, I'm not going to do any, anybody harm by voting on something I just don't know about. Number 21. My obsession with Lucy Von Pelt. Um, where's my phone? Oh, God, my butt hurts. <laughs> Lucy. Let me see if you guys can see that. Lucy from Snoopy is my hero. Oh, my butt hurts. Ever since I lost weight, my tailbone kills me. <laughs> okay. Lucy Von Pelt from Snoopy. She used to be my icon on Facebook. Um, I adore her. She is pushy, bossy, crazy, snippy sarcastic. She's just so cool for a child cartoon, you know? It just, and I love how she sits in the psychiatric booth with, you know, five cents please. It's just so freaking cute to me. So I've collected, I have over there, I have a lot of figurines of her. Um, I have a lot of, I have a lot of everything from her. I have t-shirts with her. I have pens with her. Um, my phone case has her, I have her on my desk at work, I have a bobblehead of her, um, I love her. Number 22, I almost never take painkillers, um, which is kind of funny because I'm not such a huge believer in homeopathic medicine, but um, I could have a headache, I will go three days with that headache before I give in and take something for it. I don't know why, I'm just not a fan of painkillers. Um, I've got to be in some heavy duty pain for me to give in and take some painkillers, but usually I just sit with it and suffer. It makes no sense, but I do. 23. Chocolate. I could take it or leave it. You know, a lot of girls, uh, particularly around that time of the month, are obsessed with chocolate and refuse to give it up and have no control over themselves with chocolate. I could take or leave chocolate. I am just not a chocolate person. I like it. Um, but 
I almost never crave chocolate. I'm a Mike and Ike girl. Uh, fruity and chewy. Oh, God, keep it away from me. Number 24, Blistex. I have been a... I don't know, an obsessed psycho about Blistex since I was in 7th grade. In 7th grade, my friend Donna um, used Blistex and I've never seen it before at the time and I was like what is that and she gave me some and I tried it and I've been obsessed with it ever since Blistex is like a chapstick but it's it's like a goo it's like a cream and it doesn't make your lips shiny um, because you guys know I don't wear makeup so like I don't want like glossy lips and the rest of my face looking dull it just looks stupid so you put it on your lips and it moisturizes your lips like it literally makes them moist um, it doesn't just put like a film over them to prevent them from getting drier. It actually makes them moist. It doesn't make you glossy. And it's a necessity for me. I have one next to my desk at work. I have one in my car console. I have one next to my bed. I have one next to the spot that I leave my keys and my sunglasses when I walk in the house. They're all over the place. I never travel without one. I have two in my purse. I, I mean, I'm a psycho with Blistex. And last, but not least, number 25, indecisive people piss me off. Totally piss me off. If you can't make a goddamn decision, shut the fuck up. I understand wanting to spend some time contemplating things. Absolutely. But when it's something as simple as do you want toast, say yes or no. Don't give me a, um, whatever. No. Give me a yes or no. I'm not asking you who invented the world. I'm asking you whether or not you want a toast. Come up with an answer for me. It's just a pet peeve of mine. I can't stand people who are indecisive. It drives me fucking nuts. So, there you go. That's my 25 things you may not know about me. I hope you think I'm a total psycho at this point. And I hope you make a video to this. I hope you make a video response or at least make a video. I think it would be a really fun tag for us to learn about each other. So, I hope you do. I love you. I hope you have a fantastic week. And, I don't know, I'm in a really good mood today. Maybe you'll see another video from me. Bye, guys.